I remember when it was about after 2000 Olympics, I remember thinking, one, I definitely one day want to go to the Olympics. I'm Johnny Akinyemi, I'm like 20 years old. I grew up in Warrington and I'm at university in Nottingham. The name Akinyemi is from uh, Nigeria and my family, the Akinyemi family is from Lagos in Nigeria. I've lived in England all my life, I was born in Warrington. When I have my eyes set on something, uh, I don't stop to achieve my goal. There are things in this life I would rather not sacrifice. Success for me is uh, overcoming adversity and making yourself stronger and better as a person. I don't really go into stuff half-hearted, so from the moment I went and did my first slalom race, I wanted to be the best, so I thought if I train hard enough, I've got the motivation, I could be competing at the top of the sport. I, can't, I, don't, I don't think I really had any hobbies as a child. Just when I was about when I was 12, I started canoeing. I compete in a, the event, an event called Canoe Slalom in the kayak singles category. And basically the sport involves going down the white water course and negotiating gates on the way down in the quickest time possible. It's, it's not a very ethnically diverse sport in general, I'd say, in this country. The majority of people who do it are white middle class. My dreams in terms of canoeing are to represent my country at the Olympics. I'd say um, canoeing to me is uh, it's a way of keeping me rounded as an individual, you know, keeps me fit, but I also think it keeps my mind in, in check. In, on weekdays, I try and do two sessions a day, and then at the weekend, I try and get three sessions in. When I was younger, I would have definitely said that canoeing is purely about competing and you know, doing the best that you could do, and if you weren't winning, there's no point in you going out there and doing it, really. Ended up representing Britain because I was starting to get really good at canoeing and you enter the British selection races every year really. I remember getting on the junior 16 team when I was 14. When I first got onto the team I was ecstatic. It was, I'd really been working towards getting on the team and it felt great achieving what I'd set out to do. We have been 17 when I was junior British national champion. It felt really good actually, knowing that there was no one else out there in your age group who was officially better than you. No, it was really, really proud moment. I feel like it's a really good feeling doing well in races. It's, uh, it's what you go out there to do really, isn't it? To win or do the best that you can. I mean, I suppose it's more noticeable when you do badly. It puts me in a bad mood for like, nearly a week after if I do badly in a race. So, yeah, trying to avoid that feeling by doing well in races. Like family holidays and stuff, sometimes I'd have to miss out on because I'd have races or, you know, I'd have to go on training camps and stuff. One, one, at one point in time, you can be having the best races of your life, and yet a month later, you can be really struggling to compete. But I think definitely after some races, you're just like, oh, why do I bother doing this? It's just a waste of time. Since I started uni, I found it more difficult to keep, keep up with training and finding the balance because sometimes in like odd weeks where I've got like three essays in, to find time to write the essays and do to train as well, it's sometimes difficult. Some, occasionally, I have to sacrifice one or the other. The lowest point in my career really has been missing out on the 2008 Olympics because you know I'd, I'd entered the qualification and I'd finished second in African con continentals, but at the last minute it, it happened, just so happened that I, I wasn't able to go due to some. Uh, I don't know what, how you describe them, technical difficulties. So that was, that was a real low point for me, really. And it's sometime after that, I really thought, it's four years to the next link, it's quite a long time.
2007 I switched from Hamley for Great Britain to Nigeria. I saw it as a good opportunity really to go and find out about Nigeria really, which is something that I've always been interested in. It's a weird feeling because um, cause it, I was leaving I, the, the British team behind. I've never regretted the decision to switch because I'm getting, the, getting really good experience and also I enjoy racing for Nigeria and I'm proud to race for Nigeria. On the Nigerian canoeing team, there's only me who races internationally at the moment. I think in Nigeria it's more of a, a novelty, like they don't really know what canoe slalom's about, so they're interested to hear about it and also like they're interested to, to see that, uh, that as like a guy born in Britain, I've chosen to come back to Nigeria and represent Nigeria because basically in Nigeria it usually happens the other way around. I entered the African Games in uh, in 2007, in which I competed in sprint rather than slalom in that, and then the African Championships, which I finished second in. I don't want it just to be after I finish canoeing. You know, Ni canoeing in Nigeria finishes. You know, when I finish. My aim for canoeing is to go to 2012 Olympics and do the best that I can do out there. It'd be really interesting representing Nigeria in the 2012 London Olympics. I think what I'll do in terms of canoeing is keep, keep going till the 2012 Olympics and then after that reassess where I'm at in terms of canoeing and also in terms of like the rest of my life. If I get to the 2012, I want to do the best that I can do. I probably would be disappointed if I wasn't, you know, finishing where I should be, you know. I think that in terms of my canoeing, I've still got, still got a lot more to give, you know. I'm still, uh, I'm still learning and getting better. I think if I, if I keep at it and keep, keep getting better, I'll be able to be up there with the, the best in the world. <laughs>